welcome back to another video um, and I'm going to do this science kit that I got um, for Christmas um, and it says make squishy gel beads to learn about um, the molecules and stuff and the palm palm something like it's hard for me to explain so this is what it is and let me open it and read the instructions. I have my dad with me to help me. So yeah. So what it comes with is, um, I think this is the instruction book. Um, it comes with a little measuring, well, measuring container, um, as you guys can see. And this little tube, I think to store the little gel beads in also comes with a sticker it comes with lots of different liquid stuff and we'll find out what those do actually two tiny containers um, and, and the lid does come off and then the spoon so let's read i'm going to read the instructions and i'll be back Okay, so what you um, need to get is your beaker. Um, what is this called? Calcium chloride. Calcium chloride. It comes with two packets. Chloride. chloride. Um, it comes with two packets and just use one. So you're going to take your beaker um, and take some scissors and cut that open. And then pour this, the solution, into the beaker. Um, I'm going to try to get most of it out. You're also going to need some water. So I'm going to fill it up about to the um, 70 or about to this line right well, under there. So I'll be back once I'm done with that. Okay, so I filled it up to um, to where this part ends, right there. Um, and now what do you do? Okay, now you're going to take the So, um, now what I'm going to do is take my sodium um, algitate solution and my, what is this called again? Calcium chloride. Calcium chloride mixed with water solution. You could also make it... Um, yellow one because it comes with two so then you're going to take this and you can so what I'm going to do is add big and little drops um, and there we go so let's just put in a few How much should we put in? Uh, as much as you like. So I'm going to put in a few more. So then you take your spoon and fish them out. And um, if you have this kit, then you also use this to put the balls in. So let me open it. And then let's fish out the balls. And I want to make sure, because last time I did this in one of my videos, I put them in for a few seconds. And then um, I fished them out and they all popped. So I'm going to just slowly mix them around so they um, all um, evenly get um, them around it because I don't want them to pop like they did. Um, well, the last time it was food, so it was more delicate. Um, so these kind of look like fish eggs. Um, and let me fish them all out. So here are the little balls, um, and I'm going to see how strong they are, um, and see if they're kind of like gel. So here's, um, sorry about the lighting, it's really bad actually, because of the shadow. Um, so they're actually pretty hard. I could put a lot of pressure on them and they won't pop. Oh, I just popped it on accident, but you're too cute. 
so you can actually put a good amount of pressure on these and they won't pop but if you want them to be stronger then you should put them in the solution a bit longer um, I am going to do yellow and put it in the same container because I don't really care if they are in the same container or not. So let's do the yellow. And I still have a lot um, left over because I didn't use that much of the red. So let's see. So look at that. Um, they're kind of hard to see but on camera. You can see them pretty good actually pretty surprised about that uh, I really like this science kit now I'm sorry on my youtube just um on my youtube description it says I try to upload every week or two weeks because sometimes I don't have time but I haven't been uploading every week or two weeks I have been uploading if I had a good idea or if um I um, have a kit or something to review on. It's because I don't have any ideas for my videos. So I want you guys to help me and put in the description what I should probably do. Um, now I'm wondering if you keep these overnight, if they grow a little, I guess, like herbies or they will probably be more thick so I'm going to experiment with this some more. And yeah, then I'll show you the red and yellow together. So here are all of the um, little bowl things I made. Now, you, um, most of them look red, but there's actually quite a lot of red and quite a lot of yellow. So, might be doing a skip with these because these do look like fish eggs to me um like a lot um because it looks like you could just have a mouthful of fish eggs like eating fish eggs plain um that's kind of weird but um i like it and i don't care if i get my table messy because i do a lot of different science things on it um now, I don't know what I would be using for the rest, but I mean, um, these actually do feel like fish eggs. Fish eggs are pretty um, soft, but they also feel hard on the outside. But once you put a bit of pressure on them, they pop, and I like that. Um, now, just like these, they pop like fish eggs. Um, they're really cool, actually. Um, so, I do be doing a skit. Now, I was thinking of doing an update soon um, because I um, just want to let you guys know what's happening um, because I haven't been uploading that much. Um, and yeah so thank you guys for watching and i'll see y'all later bye